long as you can commit to listening to all the communication and not judging it, yeah. then you'll, you'll make progress. But if, if you start to hear somebody communicate with you and they're, because you gotta think the person who's communicating is putting themselves on the line. They're very vulnerable. Very yeah. vulnerable. And if you dismiss that, they'll never want to do it again. Right. So being open to hearing it and say, and synthesizing, understanding, taking it in and not immediately re reacting, especially if you have a negative reaction, not saying, well, you shouldn't be because of this. Yeah, we get very That's defensive. That's not helpful. Defensive, right? yeah. And we, and we invalidate what someone's saying. Exactly. And their feelings are valid. Like, that's yeah. what they're feeling. It's, you know, they can't help it. And being open to accepting that and working forward and moving forward towards a, a resolution, whatever. And sometimes the resolution is we can't be together. And that's okay. Yeah, my uh, Eric, who produces uh, on this podcast, one of the things he always, I call him as like, my coach, mm -hmm. mediation for like whatever, and he's like, okay, well, once, and he knows what I do wrong, and so he's like, he's like, when somebody says something to you, uh, believe them. Yeah. When somebody tells you how they feel, believe them, because I'm always looking to poke holes in them. Yeah. Like, well, you can't feel that way because, because I've, been, I've done these things. Right. Yeah. So it's you, not about you. Right. Believe them. Yeah. Um, and that's it's that a hard can, thing. It is a hard thing, and especially when that's not the training you've had your whole life. But you for know, changing reason, your, your viewpoints is a, is a big word. Right. 